All right, so this is pretty insane. They actually got Android working on the Nintendo Switch, and uh, they just did their first release. And I'm uh, going to kind of go through how it works on here. So, got to go into whoop, RCM here in a second. There we go. Okay. And my injector is actually internal. I soldered one in. So I still have to use SXOS as the main uh, bootloader. And then I come here and then go to my payloads. Use uh, Hakate or however you pronounce it. Go launch into that. Okay. More configs. Our Android. And I'll leave a link in the or a description of how you actually do this. Um, it's actually not too hard. Um, if you've already hacked your Switch, uh, it's just a couple more steps. No big deal. Um, I will say you do want a pretty fast um, SD card because I had a fairly slow SD card. Um, I forget, it was like a U1 rating or whatever. Um, yeah, and everything just went super slow. Um, it wouldn't load into this. I mean, it took forever. And then once I even got into this and started setting up Google, it was super, super slow. Um, I hit up Walmart and I found a U3 card, 128 gigs for 20 bucks or something. So, I mean, even if I'm not going to use it for this, I can use it for, you know, whatever else I'd use an SD card for. Um, but anyway, slapped this in here and, uh, yeah, works a billion times better now. Um, so this is obviously the full time it's going to take to load up. And it's, uh, it's not too bad. Not too, too bad. Um, you will see that things are going to pop up. And it's not 100% stable. Um, that's nothing there. But it's not 100% stable, but, yeah, you'll see. We'll just hit wait on that. Anyway, but, uh, I mean, for a first release, I mean, come on. It's it's a full uh, it's full Android, yeah. and you can actually uh, set it up so the apps think this is a uh, Tegra Shield, um, which is awesome, or an Nvidia Shield, which is awesome, um, since it does have the same hardware in it, it has the uh, Tegra One chip in it. So some of those games you can actually mess around with. Uh, I'll just kind of go into settings and stuff, but uh, yeah. Pretty cool. I mean, this opens up, you know, all the games that you could play on an Android, too, you know? But, uh, yeah, you can see everything here. Not bad for first release. And then, uh, you can dock this, and once you dock it, you can have a keyboard and mouse hooked up. Um, basically use it as a little computer if you want. Um, you know, I had uh, YouTube running on this. Uh, you could run Kodi on this. I mean, anything you could do with an Android. You know, the world's your oyster on this thing. Um, so, yeah, really cool. Um, the only caveat, I guess, is having a separate SD card now to uh, do all this. But, at least for me, I would kind of rather have my... Uh, Android stuff separate anyway, so swapping out an SD card, not a huge deal for me. And then uh, that way I know I'm not going to break anything inside of my uh, custom firmware stuff. Not that I'd really worry about that. And maybe down the ro our road they will have a way to partition it to where part of it's Linux, or, or I'm sorry, uh, Android, and part of it is for uh, Switch OS. I'm, I'm sure that's something coming in the future, but again, this is a first release, so... Really impressed with this. Uh, let's look into something. Okay, so uh, I loaded a couple games up on here. Um, so here's Leisure Suit Larry. Of course, why not? Uh, this is Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded. I don't think it's available on um, the Switch uh, storefront. So that's pretty cool. So you're getting another library of games that you can play, right? And for the cost of maybe another SD card, you know? Um, supposedly they do have the controls implemented. Yeah, I don't mess with this then. Gotta go through all this. 
Should have did a save file. Oh well. Let's see if I can uh, screw this up. Let's see how old I am. So, anyway, we're in the game now. Um, it'll function just like any Android tablet. Um, all your touch works. Um, again, if uh, you set up Bluetooth devices, let's turn that down a little bit. If uh, if you set up Bluetooth devices, it will detect um, your left and right um, when you have them paired, or you can pair them. Um, I haven't messed with that too much. Of course, it's game dependent if the game actually will allow you to use controllers and stuff. But yeah, really impressed. Um, we'll kind of uh, we'll kind of go into some other stuff here just to uh, just to see what we got. Of course, the touch isn't working right now when I want to. But yeah, as of right now, it seems like whenever the controls are connected, they don't do anything. So that's interesting. Um, maybe that'll be something to implement in the future. But again, you can hook this up to your dock and play it on big screen. Use keyboard and mouse and everything else. Okay, so let's check some other stuff out. Grand Theft Auto. Again, I'm not sure if this is actually on the uh, Switch or not. I'm actually just logged into my into my um, Android account or Google account. Anyway, this has a whole intro. Anyway, it's totally playable. Um, just use the touch screen and stuff like that. So okay. Oh, I guess we can skip it. Cool. Maybe. So yeah, totally playable. Like I said, um, it's not totally stable, but I mean, again, for a first release, I'm not complaining. think there we go so that's how you get out of that um, just kind of swipe from the bottom and I'll bring up your menu like on a normal Android device um, let's see so here's a little bit more demanding game again anything you can do on Android you can do on this now so really cool And of course you can sync up um, any other Bluetooth controller too, like any Android Bluetooth controller. It'll sync up to it. I mean, it's it's literally just a Android tablet at this point. Um, but with the functionality of being a Nintendo Switch as well. So that's pretty darn nifty. Um, it'd been really cool if Nintendo would have done something like that. Basically made this like an other OS or something. 
like say you're going to boot into it I'm like oh or you can boot into the Android tablet side of it but you know thank god we have the uh, hacking community so we can do stuff like that do the stuff that they don't do out of the box you know so yeah I'm pretty good So anyway, yeah. Um, you don't have to worry about getting banned or anything like that um, with this. Other than you have to uh, do the whole RCM thing. But that really shouldn't hurt anything, I wouldn't think. Um, my console's not banned. And um, I play all my stuff on Switch OS or whatever um, in offline mode. So this... Whenever you go online, you definitely don't have to worry about getting banned. It's it's a totally separate ecosystem. So yeah, anyway, really cool. And I can't wait to see what they do uh, further with this. Anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And um, hopefully you decide to do the same thing. This is really cool. Thanks for watching.